Hello, welcome or welcome back to my new cloth kitchen series. For episode 3, I'm going to be focusing on black pudding and scallops, but in a completely new format. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so for today's dish, I'm using black pudding, scallops and potatoes. The black pudding is from Charlie Barley's for today's dish. The scallops are from the Hebden Smokehouse in North Uist. And the potatoes I'm using today are Cypress potatoes, also purchased at Charlie Barley's. And the dish I'm making today is a black pudding and scallop dog. So, I'm going to start by peeling the potatoes. I've got a good swivel peeler here, which gets the job done in no time. And you can see what I'm taking off. It's very little, so there's minimum wastage. These potatoes, it's been a while since I've actually watched these potatoes. They caught my eye as I was getting the black pudding. And uh, they're, a, they're a good dry potato. If you don't have cypress potatoes, you could use cow's pink. Big up on those, or any decent dry potato. So our potatoes are peeled, we give them a little wash and we get them into a pan of slightly salted water, uh, cold water and we'll just cook them for about 7 to 8 minutes, so they're just still nice and firm. So while the potatoes are cooking, I'm going to prepare the black pudding. So what I'm after is just a couple of thin slices, we need a bit slice and a half proportion. I want to do this. I just want to soften it. Leave it on the hands. Yeah so it's a slice it's a good slice and a half. Pliable enough. I'm going to take our wooden spoon. We just want to make an indent in the pudding. Now, what I'm going to fill that indent with is I've made a beetroot ketchup. For this dish. Um, the reason I've chosen the beetroot ketchup is because I like the earthiness of the, the beetroot to the contrast to the black pudding and the accompanying scallops. If you didn't like beetroot, you could use an apple puree or an apple sauce um, to look down to your individual taste. Beetroot puree, the, the beetroot ketchup that I'm using, I've made it myself, but you can also buy uh, beetroot ketchups. In the town. So now the black pudding is ready for the beetroot ketchup. How we're going to lay it in the black pudding is with this stuff here, this acetate. Um, you can buy it uh, online or in any good food shop. Uh, put a cling film on the end, stand it upright in an egg box, pipe the puree in, freeze it, and what we end up with is this lovely tube of beetroot ketchup. So I'm just going to sit that in there and we're going to now seal the whole lot in the beetroot ketchup. Pull it nice and tight into our 
in the sausage. I'm going to have to worry about the shape of this just now because we are going to re-roll the whole dish. Okay, there we have it, the whole beetroot. I'm going to pop that into the fridge while we move on to the next part. So, now that we've done the black pudding and the beetroot, which is in the fridge for the time being, our potatoes are now just cooked, but still firm. So I'm going to grate the potatoes into the bowl. And this finished result on the whole dish is going to give us a nice, crisp, fluffy texture. Have it. That potatoes are grated. Now to that, just to help bind, we're going to add a whiff of plain flour, about a teaspoon. And we just want to incorporate that very gently without messing with the potatoes too much. Just want them to hold that shape. Right. Now onto the next part, the shaping. So with the potatoes, I've just taken a small sheet of cling film put it onto the chopping board. That's what's going to help us uh, roll the, the dog. So I'm just going to take some of the potato and we're going to make a nice little rectangle. I'll just get this into place first. So you're looking for maybe about 15 centimeter length by about centimeters. It's up to you, you can make it any size you want to be. There's one serving. So I'm just going to just press that down. Don't worry about the edges, the whole lot will come together once we start rolling. There's a uh, no mess, no fuss. So after that stage, we're going to take out scallops. Now the beauty about these scallops is the flavour of them is just the same as if they've just come out of the shells with just the gentle peat smoke they are. And that is fresh for me. So it's going to lend a, a fantastic finish and flavour as a main character of this dish. So we just want to take I mean it is a luxury and they're a wee bit pricey but well worth it. So what we want to do is Six slices per portion. There should be plenty. And now we'll get the black pudding. So now we're going to take the black pudding that we've taken from the fridge. Our black pudding casing with the beetroot, and we'll just sit that neatly on the closest edge to me. I'm now going to roll the dish. Very carefully, just want to gently, but at the same time being a bit firm with it. Into a nice little sausage. Okay. 
So from that, we just twist the sides nice and tight until it almost forms a little cracker. And when you see that side starting to unravel, you know it's nice and tight. So we just want to get that into the fridge again for about half an hour and then we'll cook it. So now after chilling for about half an hour, it's time to unravel our little cracker. So just very carefully. And now we are ready to fry. So we are now ready to cook our dog in the preheated fryer, which I've set at 170 degrees. Just very carefully into the basket. Remember, we are working with hot oil. So after about five, six minutes, we are good to go. So our dish is now cooked. So let's reveal what's inside. There we have it. Our Charlie Barley's black pudding, beetroot ketchup, our smoked scallops, with a crisp and fluffy potato casing. Street food taken to another level.